Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I just bless God for this opportunity to be bringing God's truth to you. It gives me, gives me great joy anytime I sit down here. You know why? Because I, as I sit down here, I am depending on the Lord completely to give me utterance. So, so we may start from somewhere, and I'm just following the Lord, wherever he takes us to. Praise God. But, you know, let's just pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, burdens are being removed right now. Yokes are being destroyed. Oh, ignorance is getting out of our hearts. For knowledge has come. Wisdom has come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus said you will guide us into all truth. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. In everyone that is listed by social media or by radio right now. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Now, I was telling you something yesterday. We are reading from Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I remember telling you yesterday that, look, what matters? You know, sometimes a preacher will tell you, I was telling you, everything you get ought to be by faith. Now, what do I mean by faith? The word of God comes to you and then you respond to the word of God. Now, however, whatever you do for the word of God to come to you, it's your business. Because I was explaining something to you yesterday. You know, someone said, I suffered before I got this thing. You suffered till you got the word of the Lord. God never mentioned that somebody must fast for 40 days before he hears God. No. But you see, like I was saying yesterday, it depends on where you were or where you are at. It depends on where you were. Someone, for example, who is in um, Meduguri and wants to get to Lagos, if he's going by car, someone who is in Ondo State going by car will surely get to Lagos before the person coming by car from Meduguri. Are you getting what I'm saying? So someone who's at Meduguri, for example, now takes several hours. In fact, most times it's a two days journey. And then you get to Lagos and then you're telling somebody, man, Lagos is far. And then you get to, um, you get to a state like Ondo State. And then you're giving the test message to go to Lagos, you will spend two days. I spent two days. And then you don't tell them where you came from. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So it, it looks like to enter Lagos, man, the journey is two days' journey. No, it because, it's because of where you were coming from. <laughs> it's God. And, and, and someone else can go by flight. And in one hour, 20 minutes from Meduguri or so, you are in Lagos. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, someone who came by road is telling you how hard it is to get to Lagos. And the person who flies is like, what are you talking about? I mean, I just, I just had my bath, got to the airport, and then I was in Lagos. I just closed my open my house in Lagos. I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. So don't tell people how hard it is. Tell people the essence of after all that struggle, after all that hard time you went through, what was it you found? What was it you found? That is your testimony. Your testimony is not how you suffered. Your testimony is, I found out that this is the word of the Lord. I, the word of the Lord came to me. I, I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. I remember one time I was, I was, I was praying concerning something. This was several years ago. I was praying concerning something. And then I, I, I was believing God for something. And, and it wasn't forthcoming. So I decided, no, 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 no. Something is, is, is amiss here. So I decided to take three days to fast and pray. Now, in, you know, that's the thing. When you want to fast like that, you proclaim the fast. That's one thing a lot of people don't do. So they fast 
after the fasting, no results. They kept saying, I believe God has answered me somehow, somehow, somehow. No, you proclaim the fast. What do I mean proclaim the fast? You decide, Father, I, I'm, I'm trying to get your mind concerning this thing. And, and all this while I've been trying, it's not working. So, Lord, I'm setting out this one day or these two days or these three days to seek you concerning this. And within these three days, I'm not going to eat any food or I'm not going to eat any food till 6 p.m. or till 3 p.m., whatever you decide. I'm not going to do this. And, Lord, I expect you in this season or during this fast to get my mind clear concerning this. Now, that is how you proclaim a fast. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, I, I, I proclaim the fast in like three days. Lord, I, I believe I'm missing this thing somehow. But I'm setting out these three days to seek your mind concerning this thing. So, I started on the first day. And then on the second day, about noon on the second day, the word of the Lord came to me. And he said, go pick up. I remember vividly, he said, go pick up your 2005 diary and read. Okay, thank you, sir. So I went to my books and I searched out my diary for 2005. And I began to read page by page by page by page. And I, when I was reading, I got to a place where I had written the answer to what I was seeking at this time. And I was like, whoa. Now, I think this was two years after 2005. This was, this was in 2007. I remember, yeah. So he told me, go two years back and read the things that I have spoken to you. I saw clearly in 2005, the Lord had given me the answer, the instruction concerning where I was right now, two years after. And I was like, whoa. I said, Lord. I, I am so sorry, Lord. You gave an, a clear instruction. I haven't carried out the instruction. And here I was waiting for you to answer me. I, say, I, I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, now I see it's, it's, it's me. I've been the one delaying. I repent right now. I got up. That was the end of my fast. I didn't say, hmm, it's remaining one day. I said I was going to fast three days. Well, I've gotten what I was looking for. So that was the end of the fast. I went ahead and obeyed God and bam, the miracle I was expecting just happened. Praise God. Now that's how it works. Praise God. So, so don't tell someone, for example, I, I, it's wrong for me to tell someone that I had to fast for three days before I got that result. No. If I was, you see, now imagine if I had just said, oh, let me just, pick up my diary and read, you know, what, what all the, to remind myself of the things the Lord have said to me. Now, I began to do that often after that experience. I would have seen it there. And I'm like, oh, 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 yeah, okay. See. So when I went before the Lord, He referred me back to what He had already told me. So the testimony there is God had already spoken. Now, all you need to do is for God to speak to you. If, if you. if you have to fast for the Lord to speak to you, do it. Now, that depends on who you are and where you are. You understand what I'm saying? There, there are people who, now, it, it would take, you know, for example, like, like you know, this happens a lot of times. You know, I'm sitting down with someone and, and giving counsel to the person, or the person is sharing their challenges with me. Now, now, people who are very close to me, they, 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 they know this because they enjoy it. And you bring up a challenge with me, I'm like, I, I don't know, I'm trying to sort this thing out. And while we're talking, I'm like, oh, call so and so person. I'm like, eh, but, but don't call, call, just call that person. And then they call the person and it's gone. I mean, the person has an information that will help you and like, you know. And then sometimes people ask me, you know a lot of people. Now, the truth is, it's not like I know a lot of people. God has blessed me with some good people, yes. But you see, this is it. While I'm listening, I'm listening to the Lord. Now, I don't have to say, now, there are times I'm talking to someone and like, ah, you know what, can you give me like two days? We'll come back to this. You see. There are other times I'm talking to someone and while I'm talking to the person, instantly I say, hey, go and do this, go and do this, go and do this, go and do this. 
Now what's going on? It's the voice of God. It's not because I'm too intelligent. It's the voice of God. It's not because I know a lot of people. No. It's the Lord that tells you, this person has the answer to this thing. I'm like, okay, why don't we call this person? Yeah, but how is how they connected? How are they related? Just call the person. And then you call the person. Ah, do you know someone was just talking to me about this thing yesterday? Wait, let me find the person's number. And then it's solved. It's the word of the Lord. Now, the times that I say, give me two days. Not because the Lord couldn't have spoken. Sometimes it just happens that your mind is too busy. Yeah. I mean, you're talking to someone. You're trying to understand what the person is saying. But it seems something else is just before your mind. So it is not God. It is us. I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. So the fact that I say, give me two days or give me, give me like three days. Now, when I say, give me like three days, I, I, in my mind, I like, look, let me clear my plates. Then I will get to. Now, that's because while I'm listening, I'm trying to listen to the Lord. But lots of things are interfering. What are the things that are interfering? My mind. I, are you getting what I'm saying? That's how it works. So it's not that the Lord will say two days, three days. So I just like to say, give me three days, please. Because in my mind, like by, by tomorrow, I should get this whole thing sorted out. Then I'll be able to, you know, the space will be clear. You, you understand what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to tell you that it's about us, not about God. It's not God. It's, it's us. Did you get what I just said? If there is any delay, it is not God. It is us. So that's why the Bible says, where is boasting then? Say it's excluded. By what law? Faith. See? By doing the law, no one is justified before God. So there is, there is, no, there is no steps, three steps to gaining prosperity. Now, when you hear all those things, they are, they are just people trying to itemize, you know, things, put it in steps so that you will understand. Not because you must do step number one before step number two and then before step number three. Don't let those things confuse you. Now, whoever is writing or whoever is teaching is only trying to help you put it in perspective. But you see, that's not, it doesn't mean that is how God operates. He's not limited by those steps. So it's the seven steps to walking in prosperity. Wow, man, seven steps. You mean when I get these seven steps, I walk in prosperity? There are people who have read and they can quote every page and yet they are still broke. Why? Because they didn't get it. All that seven steps, what is it telling you? It is telling you about one step. <laughs> What's the one step? Go hear God. The moment you hear the voice of God, faith has come. That is what makes the difference. If you hear him lying down or you hear him on the mountain, wherever you hear him, all you need to do is to hear him. That is the one step that seven steps will lead you to. That is the one step that 21 steps will lead you to. So if I write a book on 50 steps to getting a glorified, a glorified or glorifying your life, that 50 steps will lead you to one step, which is what? Hear the voice of God and obey. I'm trying to make this thing as simple as possible to you. And I hope you're getting it. Praise God. All right, now, let, let's go. Having said all these things, let's now go back to Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. For with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Now, note what it says there. With the heart, one believes. I told you last week, most times it's a believing problem that we have, not a faith problem. There's a difference between faith and believing. Praise God. And I'm going to enter into this tomorrow because our time is up right now. Praise God. But hold this up. The heart, the heart is the powerhouse to your believing. I pray for you today that as you step out today, the Spirit of God will guide you and He will cause you to find pastures today. You will not come back empty today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.